Greetings my fellow Fright Fiends and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. It's been a while since I've done a video and I want to thank everyone for uh, sticking with the channel as I am on my writing uh, project right now. Uh, but I received an item in the mail today and this is something I ordered a couple of weeks back. This is from Cavity Colors. Uh, it's a company that I haven't bought something from in quite a while. So earlier this month, Cavity Colors uh, let it be known that there was going to be a special mm -hmm. shirt coming out uh, paying tribute to The Fun House, uh, 1981's Toby Hooper classic. Um, it's a film that I've always loved. It's actually his follow-up to Salem's Lot, and it's my second favorite Toby Hooper film. And uh, when I saw the art uh, for uh, what they were doing, uh, just the amazing art of Gunther and some of the infamous characters and scenes from the film, I knew it was a shirt I had to pick up. I actually picked up the uh, long sleeve uh, shirt. They had uh, several versions. They were only available for 72 hours. So it was something I had planned to, uh, you know, get back here on the channel and do a video about. But what ended up happening between when the shirt was, when the shirt dropped and when I had arrived, in between that time, one of the actors, Kevin Conway, uh, who I was a huge fan of from not only The Fun House where he played uh, three characters, he played three of the Barkers in the film, but he was also in films like Jennifer 8 and Funny Farm, uh, he was on the show Oz. I was a huge fan of this actor and I was very saddened to hear that he passed away. So I thought that, well, and I get this, you know, just uh, when that happened and I knew that the shirt was going to arrive, I said, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do a little tribute video to not only to uh, do, do a little video that would not only showcase the item, but also pay tribute to the film itself. Um, so to give a little history about the Funhouse and my first experience uh, seeing it, it came out in 1981. Uh, I was about seven years old when it mm -hmm. came out. Uh, my mom had a friend named Louise and uh, they worked together at UC Berkeley and her son Tori and I were really good friends and that uh, time when the movie dropped um, I remember we were all um, I believe we were in Oakland and we saw the poster the poster, the infamous poster of the of the mouth uh, it's a really creepy image and I was already getting into horror films starting to get interested in monsters and things like that and I just remember that image and we went and saw it in the movie theater um, I don't have uh, you know a lot of memories of seeing it in the theater, but I do remember the character of Gunther and the in the, the the monster in the Frankenstein mask, and a lot of the, some of the set pieces, especially when the one girl is is in the uh, bottom part of the ride where the fan propeller is. I remember that really well, and I just remember watching it with uh, Tori and his mom and my Again, mom. Tori was two years older than me, so and he got freaked out by it, and I was just you know fascinated and scared and. Yeah, it's 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 a film that uh, you know I just remember really enjoying as a kid, and I picked up the Scream Factory uh, edition when it was first released. I never got it on Blu-ray; I just have the DVD. But yeah, just a fantastic film. And, uh, and if, for people that are not familiar with this film and are unfamiliar with what the plot deals with, the Funhouse deals with four teenage friends who spend the night in a carnival funhouse where they are stalked by a deformed man in a Frankenstein mask. The movie uh, stars Elizabeth uh, Berridge as Amy Harper, Cooper Huckabee as Buzz Dawson, uh, Largo Woodruff as Liz Duncan, Miles Chapin as Richie Alterberry. Uh, you have Kevin Conway who plays three of the Barkers, the Freak Show Barker, Strip Show Barker, and Funhouse Barker. And you have Wayne Doba as Gunther the Monster. Uh, the movie was written by Lawrence J. Block and directed by the late great Toby Hooper. So yeah, the film just uh, still holds up for me tremendously when I watch it. And I love the opening of the film too, which pays uh, tributes to not only Halloween, but Psycho. Um, I love the look of the carnival. Uh, I love all the characters in it, uh, especially uh, the Gunther mon uh, the Gunther character or the monster. Uh, that makeup is still terrifying. Just the way that they did it, the way it was shot. Again, very very much like uh, Reggie Nelder's Barlow. It's a very uh, it evokes a lot of terror seeing that that character when he's finally unmasked from the Frankenstein mask and you see what he really looks like. Um, just uh, the way it's done, the actor does a terrific job playing it. Uh, from memory serves, he was actually a dancer, a professional dancer, and it was one of his first and only movies that he did. Uh, but uh, he's just terrifying as this character that doesn't have any dialogue, just screams and is very imposing uh, when stalking the kids that are hiding out on the Funhouse ride. But yeah, it's, it's a shame that Kevin Conway has passed away and we lost Toby Hooper. 
Um, you know, they, uh, this film just uh, brings me back such good memories, and this is a terrific release. If you're a fan of it, I definitely recommend picking up the Screen Factory release. It's it's a terrific film, and uh, one of my favorite Screen Factory uh, pickups. Now onto the shirt, which is from Cavity Colors. Uh, again, this is a shirt that I've been anxiously anticipating and uh, really excited to check it out. I haven't gotten a Cavity Killer shirt in quite a while. I bypassed a lot of them that came out that I wanted. I'm trying to save money, so that's the invoice. Let's see that, so we'll pull the shirt out. And the art on this is just fantastic. Yep, there's something here, so let's grab that real quick. Looks like there's a, oh wow, it's, oh cool. It's a little bookmark. So that's a little uh, sampling of what the art looks like they captured Gunther uh, beautifully. This is great. So here's the shirt. So yeah, just a fantastic piece. Um, this is amazing. I uh, I am in completely awe. I love that I got the long sleeve shirt and it's got the images of Gunther on the sleeves right there. Just just an amazing, uh, amazing shirt from an amazing company. Uh, cannot recommend Cavity Colors enough. Unfortunately, this shirt was only available for 72 hours, so it is gone. Uh, but they do put out uh, great releases. They just put out one for uh, Waxworks. Uh, put a link down below to Cavity Colors website. Uh, please check them out, support them. And this shirt's amazing. It's an amazing shirt, an amazing film. Uh, the Fun House, one of my favorite uh, horror films from my childhood. Uh, definitely recommend people checking it out and I definitely recommend people supporting Cavity Colors. So thanks so much everyone again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy, stay scared as always. I want to thank everyone for taking this time to drop by the horror zone it really means a lot to me that people are supporting what i do here if you like this video um, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below uh, i upload videos at least once or twice a week it would really mean a lot if people would spread the word about this channel um, I this is a passion of mine. I love the horror genre and uh, I'm really happy to share uh, my love of it with all of you. So thanks so much again for checking it out and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.